Well, good morning, sailors. It's the 6th of April and it's time to leave Marathon. We're gonna cast off around noon, high tide, and uh, make for West End Bahamas. Should be about a 180 mile trip. And take about 24 hours. There we are leaving Marathon. It was a little hectic getting out of the slip because we had about, I don't know, 12 knots right on the beam. And the way the pilings were configured, it was a challenge to get all the lines off and get out before getting pushed up against the other pilings. Um, but we made it. Perseverance. Heading out of Marathon. Hopefully, next port of call will be West End Bahamas. Okay, we're about an hour and a half into our passage from Marathon to West End Bahamas. Um, we got a uh, nice breeze. It's about uh, probably 12, 10 to 12 uh, true, flowing about 14 apparent. Uh, close reach, and we're making about six and a half knots, averaging about six and a half knots. Wind's supposed to fall off a little bit. Um, we may have to motor sail for a while, but then it's going to pick up nicely if you believe the forecast. Uh, water's absolutely beautiful and it's warm. Uh, beautiful day. Take a look. Yeah, so our, our plan is to um, basically get in the Gulf Stream and get that extra boost. We're headed that way now. Probably be picking up some additional uh, lift in the next hour and then increasingly so as we um, get more uh, and more and more in the center of the stream. So we'll update you in a, in a little bit. Well, folks, this is pretty much champagne sailing. It doesn't get any better really than this. We're making about seven knots. You know, it's probably 12 knots of true wind and there's barely a ripple of a wave you know, maybe half a foot and the water is gorgeous we're headed to the gulf stream we're not even in the stream yet once we get there we're gonna be cranking opened a few hatches it's toasty since it's so smooth we get a little ventilation Lizzie's up here doing work friendship too um, she's like no don't bother me don't mess with me well folks as forecast the wind has died off a bit um, so now we're motor sailing and I think we're making most of the wind you know it says 12 knots but we close hauled so we're going about six and a half seven so there's probably four or five knots of breeze out here uh, let's hope the other part of the forecast where it predicts the wind will pick up nicely from the south um, is accurate Well, we just crossed over the 100 nautical mile point, um, 13 hours underway. Uh, average speed now is up to about 7.8 knots um, over that 100 nautical miles. Been in the Gulf, Gulf Stream now for uh, probably four or five hours. I'm making very good time. Uh, currently, um, we have still relatively light winds, probably about uh, 12 to 14 true on the beam and we're making about nine and a half knots 
Yeah, so we're right between Miami and uh, Bimini, and it's like uh, playing Frogger cutting across the Straits of Florida. This big guy just got behind us. Okay, folks, we're about four miles from West End. It was an incredibly fast passage. It's only uh, 10 a.m., so we will have made about 185 miles in 21 hours, which is pretty impressive, of course. Uh, a lot of credit goes to the Gulf Stream for that. But, uh, we're gonna get a little bit of shelter. Um, as the uh, swell has built up, we're gonna pull up into West End, drop the sails, go in, check into customs, and figure out what's next. Can you make us up a, a conch salad? To, what's the difference between the tropical and the regular? Fruits. Fruit. Regular, regular, salad. regular conch salad to go. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Food wise? No, I was going to okay. say, I was just wondering what goes into the conch salad. salad so, herbs, yeah. herbs, onion and tomatoes. Uh huh. Yeah. Is it spicy or is it? Could, just, it could be spicy if you want it. We don't want it too spicy. So you don't like. Do you want it pepper. a little bit spicy? No, you no, put you put the pepper. pepper. Oh, just put that on. Okay, yeah. we we got spice back in the house. And it's just like in lime juice. Yeah. yeah. You sound like you've been here a long time. No, we just got here yesterday. We're here at Old Bahama Bay Marina in West End, Grand Bahama Island. Been here for three days waiting for some weather to lay down. It's uh, now Sunday um, and we still got a uh, nice breeze, fresh breeze, about 15 knots, but it's shifted over to the northeast. Uh, so it's going to be permissive for us to take off. So we're going to cast the lines, head out. It's going to probably be a little bumpy out there on the ocean for the first uh, two hours as we head north to the entry to the Bahama Bank, where it should be, uh, once we're in on the bank, it should be a lot more protected. And the wind's supposed to drop off as we leave. So 
So, excited? Yeah. Gonna be back on anchor tonight. Yeah. Some secluded anchorage in the Bahamas. Yeah, I like that. I like that look. <laughs> we like that. Let's see that one more time. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right here. Well, we had a very pleasant night on anchor at Great Sail K Anchorage. There were six other boats in here when we came in last night. There's two left. We're getting ready to haul the anchor up and head further east. Probably going to be a motor today right into the wind coming out of the east, but it's going to be about a 30 mile trip going to Foxtown. Uh, anchored just off Foxtown between Hawksville K and Foxtown. Anchorage is all to ourselves. Okay, so we're at Allen's Pensacola K, and there is a like a memento, a boat sign tree on the other side of the island. We have visited here in the past and we left a sign. We understand it survived Hurricane Dorian, so we're gonna go over and see. If it's still there, we're gonna update it. So follow us on this little jungle adventure through the, uh, through the trails of Allen's Pensacola. We're gonna take Matty's track. <laughs> Lizzie's smart, she's gonna let me clear all the spider whips. <laughs> Tall man first.
is the wrong trail. Well, we should probably go down the beach. I don't see our sign. I don't remember exactly where it was. Ha ha ha! I have to give these people um the blonde. Huh? No? <laughs> okay. Do not take Maddie's blood. Yeah. Not if you're going to the signing tree. Not unless you want to work out and to take your life in your hands. <laughs> and, All right. And you don't want to, you, it's okay for the beach. Yeah, but it's not much of a beach over there. Yeah. You see the other side of the island. All right. Happy. Goodbye to Alex Pensacola. Who knows where we'll be going? Motoring east into the wind in the Sea of Abaco. Looks like we're headed to Green Turtle, but uh, looks like we're going to get wet on the way. Actually, be welcome as long as the wind's not too strong. We could use a good wash. Boat's a giant salt lick. Just what the doctor ordered. Wash the boot. Anchored off Green Turtle, looks like we might be in for some fun. What are we doing? We're all waiting. <laughs> Why are we waiting? For Mother Nature. Yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. Fine. Another squall. Anchored at Green Turtle, and uh, it's a beautiful day after uh, a very rainy, stormy day yesterday. We got about uh, two, somewhere between two and four inches of water. So the boat's super clean, which is nice. Today, it's beautiful weather. We're gonna take the dinghy ashore, go have lunch at the Bluff House, and then go explore Green Turtle Cay. If you wanna wash your cares away, take a trip and slip on down to Turtle Bay. If you wanna wash your cares away, take a trip and slip on down to Turtle Bay. Well, now who out there has ever needed? A place to go to find some ocean breezes Maybe sip a cup of margarita Make it two or three, yeah Picking up a coconut from roadside stands Or ten toes in some snow white sand Or island hopping on a catamaran Or steady rocking to a reggae band, hey, hey I 
are going to be coming pretty strongly out of the north northeast and northeast and we'll get better protection there behind this bluff and we'll probably be here until friday uh, at the earliest that's probably the earliest we can uh, head out and start making our way uh, back up to at least north carolina Okay, well, it's time to leave the Bahamas and uh, head back to the States. We had hoped to make a run all the way to Beaufort, North Carolina, or even to Chesapeake Bay, but the weather gods uh, are not favoring that option, so we're going to be heading to uh, Fernandina, St. Mary's Inlet. We're leaving from Green Turtle Cay, which is down here, um, around 3 p.m. We want to hit a uh, great sail about 9 p.m., and that's where we're going to pick up our predict wind weather routing. Uh, you can take a look at what we've got in store. I'm going to use the uh, the uh, European model. I don't really think that the predict wind proprietary models are very good. But let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so it looks like we'll have a broad reach, broad to beam, then on the beam in the Gulf Stream. Um, pretty good wind, it's going to be a little bit of downwind at the end, and probably motoring the last couple of hours into Fernandina. Saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to Green Turtle. Oh, say goodbye to the Bahamas. We had a good two weeks. The weather wasn't great, but it was great. We got to see some friends. We had a good anchorage. We didn't have any drama. Hopefully no drama on the way home. Great wind. <laughs> Crazy wind. Sometimes I hear your name in the swaying of the palms Or in a line from Hemingway or the 15th book of songs And I remember us slow dancing in the sand And knowing I want to be back there as fast as I can And I got a full breeze in my sail this strong rum's got tales to tell And though I'm a long way from where we've been Girl, I'll be there on the next train wind September, Caroline Walking down on Meeting Street In 
and staying up all night And at the end of Sullivan's is where we said goodbye Both of us hoping one day we'd come back like the tide And I got a full breeze in my sail And this strong rum's got tales to tell I'm a long way from where we've been Girl, I'll be there on the next train to win Well, we've gone uh, 45 miles in six hours, which is pretty good. Uh, we're coming up on uh, Great Sail K. We're going to continue on through the night. good test for the Hamilton Ferris Water Power 200. It's actually worked pretty well. Let's say it averages seven to eight amps. If you're going seven knots, eight knots, it gets up to as much as uh, 11 or 12 amps. If you're busting it like nine, if you're doing nine, nine and a half knots. Uh, but you know, the great thing is it runs all the time. It's not dependent on the clouds or the lack of clouds. It's pretty cool. Needs a little bit of paint, but it seems to work well. Well, 24 hours done, 185 nautical miles, not bad. We had to slow down a little bit, uh, exiting the Bahama Bank, wind shifted quite a good deal behind us and there were some shallow areas and shifting sandbanks that we needed to avoid, so we just slowed down, took it easy for a few hours. But uh, once we got out in the ocean, things picked up. And of course now we're in the Gulf Stream and we're making, as you can see behind me, a good time. So. All is well aboard SV Ketzel. Uh, 24 hours into this passage, probably about, uh, I don't know, 20 hours left. Big boy on the horizon. Well, now we've exited the Gulf Stream and the conditions are quite different. Uh, obviously, we're not going as fast either, but uh, the, the swell has dropped down, the chop is gone. It's smooth sailing now. I can't believe Joshua Slocum ate these things. Yeah. Slam it. Yeah, the wind died. <laughs> so that uh, dull droning sound you may hear is the Good old Yanmar 125, pushing us the last 15 nautical miles into Fernandina. All in all, a pretty good trip though. Flat calm out here now. <laughs> 